Hello everyone, my name is Hummusman300, welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Uh, today's episode is basically, uh, is the episode where, okay, so last episode I gave you the lowdown on, you know, my academic life, and today I, I, and I mentioned, um, I mentioned having, uh, I mentioned that I got a girlfriend over the course of, uh, last, over the course of my third semester of college. So, so, th that story is actually, uh, somewhat interesting. Um, I can tell it now, if you'd like, or, not, well, yeah, I can, you can't really tell me not to tell it, but, because, although, if you did, I would probably listen. Um, though I'm recording this right after the last episode, so there's no way I can, you know, uh, receive your feedback. So I'm, I'm sorry if, you know, I bug you. No. Team. Tactics. Get away. Anyway, so, um... I so I I was uh, on vacation in Hawaii the last summer, and you know I, I my family travels a lot. Uh, I don't like love to travel, but we, yeah, we were in Hawaii uh, on vacation, and I um, I was hanging out on Tumblr because uh, Backspin had introduced me to Tumblr, and I had gotten a Tumblr uh, earlier that year, towards the end of my first year at college. Um, how much money do I have? Wow. A lot of money. Um, so yeah, towards the, end of, towards the end of college, I got, got myself a Tumblr. I'm not using it anymore now for uh, reasons I'll explain later. Anyway, um, this actually does segue into another uh, another part of my life, this, this relationship story, but, yeah, that, that, that will be for next episode, um, anyway, so, for right now, you know what, let's just set this, okay, so, yeah, uh, while I was on Tumblr, I, um, I started talking to someone uh, going by the name of Ricky, uh, and you know, I, I funny story about that. I actually mistook her for a boy. Uh, anyway, so we were talking, and it brought up that hey, we go to the same college, and I didn't realize that. So that was just kind of it was neat, and I was just like, oh, cool. Uh, and so we met up, and it turns out she was already friends with. One of my dorm mates, uh, Mike, aka uh, Marunis Davenport, uh, he was singing Dr. Mundo. Uh, what else? He hasn't appeared in any of my. Oh, right, you know, he appeared in the Shadowrun videos. Right, that's right. He, he was in Shadowrun. Uh, which, by the way, I'm probably discontinuing because I made a second character to run through it a bit more. And, you know, I. I Honestly, I'm stuck. I, I don't know how to win. There's a unit that I keep beating down, and it keeps getting up. And, uh, yeah, it has this weird resurrection power. I don't know how to beat it. But, yeah, so I was playing a different character. I was playing a mage, and she's really cool, but she's not my samurai. So, yes, she is not Mikaji. But, yeah, if I can figure out how to, um, how to beat that, I will my mind come back to it. I might, I might not. Anyway, uh, that's not the important part here. Important part. I was telling a story. So, we started hanging out. I started hanging out with her, and uh, we became pretty good friends. And uh, I realized I might actually be starting to have feelings for her. And I, but I, I wasn't sure. I, I didn't know how to recognize it. And uh, so when I, so uh, at this point I was actually rooming with Backspin, uh, 
which you know it was cool. He's my best. He was my best friend up there, um, and that was so cool that I was rooming with him. But anyway, I started talking to him, and and when I explained this to him, he um, I actually remember this moment pretty vividly. We were up at 4 a.m. and he was just kind of frustrated. We were talking about our problems with each other just because we were frustrated and we were depressed and everyone was unstable. Um, and so he basically said, oh, you know what? I kind of feel the same way. And so there was that weird thing going on. Um, but yeah, that ended up not becoming all that important. Uh, because we kind of... Yeah, that, that ended up not really going anywhere. How do I turn around? I don't know how to turn around, I forgot how to do that. Oh no! Can I just feed it to her? Oh no. Her, him, whatever. Who cares? Anyway, so, yeah, uh, that, that, the fact that Backspin liked her too was kind of irrelevant, and it, you know, he kind of stopped liking her after a while because I basically, um, one night in the cafeteria, I, I, you know, we were sitting with her and I was just like, can I say something? And I told her, you know, hey, I kind of like you. I was a bit disheartened at first, though, because her response to that was, okay, you know, just, it, I, I wasn't, you know, I, it gave me a bit of, the, of a vibe that, you know, you know, she's not interested in me, okay, it's, this topic is, you know, worth dropping now, and it's not really a big deal anymore, uh, any, but, um, I can't remember what day it was, or, or what day it was in relation to this, that, that first day, but, uh, uh, there was, I was taking an, I was taking an acting class. Yeah, this is almost out of uh, out of juice. So then I, I have a link box so I can relink it later. Anyway, so yeah, uh, I uh, later there, there was this, I was taking an, uh, an acting class and that was so much fun and that was my that was my fun class for that semester. I didn't have a fun class for the semester after I thought. Anyway. Uh, well, I did have a fun class, but it wasn't, you know, it didn't make up for the non-fun classes. Anyway, um, so I was, so, so there was this play I had to go to. It wasn't, you know, it, I was not entirely looking forward to it because, uh, as you know, you, you may not know this, but, you know, in college I turned into basically kind of a shut-in, so I didn't really like going out. Uh, especially not by myself. Uh, Backspin wasn't in this class, so I, I really, you know, I didn't do much. I, I didn't really uh, have a lot of motivation to go. So um, one day I, you know, I caught uh, Ricky walking back from class one day, and I, I did it set, and, and I said, uh, "Hey, there's this play." Do you want to go? Uh, do you, there's this play on one of these uh, that, that is playing on these days, and I have to go see it for class. Uh, do you want to come with me? So I um, so we went to the play, and on the way back uh, we started holding hands, and I it was it was weird. It was very weird. Why am I saving? I'm just out of habit, I guess. Uh, anyway, 
So, do I keep going or do I go back? No, I go back. Let's store this, 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 this. Yep. Um, so yeah, we, we... Let's go up, let's go up the other path to make it more interesting. I remember hating the music for, for this path anyway. So, yeah, we became a thing. Uh, I, I remember, I remember asking her, uh, does this mean that we're a thing now? And, I don't know, I... I got a weird response, but I wasn't, you know, uh, un... I wasn't, you know, unhappy with it, so... I... we, we became... We, we became a couple, and I... I wasn't sure how to, um... I, I had no... I'll admit I had no idea what, what I was doing. This was my first relationship, and, uh... You know, I... Um, hmm. where am I going with this? Um, basically, uh, I was kind of, it, it was kind of, um, like, uh, it, it was kind of a, uh, I don't want to say that the relationship itself was bad, but it was kind of a match made in hell, you know, instead of a match made in heaven, because, um, the thing is, it wasn't uh, necessarily a uh, a bad relationship, and I did enjoy it a lot. But I had I I you know you know me I'm paranoid. I have I, I at the time I was having I I incredibly depressive episodes. Uh, I have paranoia. Uh, I I have bad social skills um, from you know, my learning disability that I mentioned. I think I mentioned that the other day. Uh, the other episode, the one before this. Um, but yeah, so I had really no idea what I was doing there. Uh, and she had... She has anxiety. Has, had, has... I don't know. She still exists, so I can't say had, but... I, I don't know how that would work grammatically. Anyway, um, so she has anxiety issues... I was going through depressive episodes and severely paranoid, so, uh, yeah, there would be times when she would... Fuck you. Go to hell. Are you alright, Pikachu? Uh, no. We do not have any healing items. Well, anyway, um, so, we, yeah, we were not the best couple, and on some of the uh, worst nights, we, you know, we, we didn't talk a lot, and we didn't really know each other that well, but, uh, I, I, for what it was worth, I did, uh, uh, I just wasted my last, uh, move, that. but anyway, for what it was worth, I did enjoy it, uh, the whole way through, but, uh, towards the end, I, I should have seen, um, that we were drifting apart, and, uh, there was one point when I told her, when, when I was, you know, doubting the, the, uh, solidity of our relationship, and I said, and I told her, and I said to her, um, "Hey, I, I'd rather uh, us uh, break up than slowly drift apart because I just don't want to have that happen. I, th that's happened to me with so many of my friends before. So many, you have no idea. It, it's, it makes me sad, honestly. It makes me sad just to think about it. Um, but." I'm not here to depress you guys. Nope. 
Uh, I'm just, I'm just telling my own story. Um, anyway. Uh, so I told her that, and, and, and I came back to her the next day, and I say, I want to, I want to try this, I want to make this work. Because, you know, she lives, uh, she lives nowhere near me, so I think if I go back to, um, it, it, so over the summer we would have practically no contact. I mean, we could text each other, but I'm really bad with, uh, keeping in touch with people. She is too, so, um, yeah, it was... And then, uh, right before finals, she came, she comes to me and she says, I, "That thing you were afraid of, yeah, I think it's happening." So, yeah, we broke up. And uh, no, okay. So, yes, I was really, really sad at the time. Yes, I did cry because I'm a massive crybaby, and it did, in fact, hurt a lot. But the fact of the matter is, I do feel a lot better now, and, um, I, you know, I, I am more confident in myself, and I'm not, well, okay, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm, actually, I actually have no self-confidence, I never have, but, point is, uh, I, I now realize that, you know, it's, it was important that we, that we had to break up, and, you know, that, that it would have caused more pain if we had tried to stay together beyond that point. And it really was not working at all. It was not the best relationship, uh, like I said before. We didn't ever talk at all. Uh, I, I mean... I did enjoy the cuddling, but that was pretty much all the relationship was composed of. And she was uh, not as touchy-feely as I am, so... Uh, I have a feeling I did make her uh, pretty inco pretty uncomfortable um, a, a bunch of the time. I couldn't always, because of my uh, disability, I couldn't always read her. I, I didn't know what she wanted from me. And because of her anxiety, she wouldn't tell me. Uh, or, or couldn't tell me. I don't... I, look, I'm not judging anyone here. I'm just saying, you know, that, that this is the way it was and... It didn't work. This, yeah, it, it was, yeah, it was not, um, the best of, it was not the best of relationships. Uh, it could have gone a lot better, but it didn't. And, you know, that's, I'm sad, but at the same time, I'm okay. There are times when I still do miss her, but uh, I think that's more me missing the fact that I had a relationship to begin with than her. Alright, so I'm gonna save Slot here. There we go. I saved Slot. Uh, so, yeah, that was, that was that. Very depressing story. I'm sorry that you all had to sit through me rambling through that, but now I'm done, and I can start telling you the other story, which is a lot, a lot more interesting, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode, bye uh.